EPM Def Real Questions are newly updated, which can help you pass the Cyber Arc Defender EPM exam easily. 1. A help desk technician needs to provide remote assistance to a user whose laptop cannot connect to the Internet to pull EPM policies. What CyberArk EPM feature should the help desk technician use to allow the user elevation capabilities? A. Offline Policy Authorization Generator B. Elevate Trusted Application if necessary C. Just-in-time access and elevation D. Loosely connected devices credential management Answer. C. 2. Which policy can be used to improve endpoint performance for applications commonly used for software development? A. Developer applications B. Trusted application C. Trusted source D. Software updater Answer. A. 3. An EPM administrator is looking to enable the threat deception feature. Under what section should the EPM administrator go to enable this feature? A. Threat Protection Inbox B. Policies C. Threat Intelligence D. Policy Audit Answer. B. 4. An EPM administrator would like to enable CyberArk EPM's ransomware protection in restrict mode. What should the EPM administrator do? A. Set block unhandled applications to on. B. Set protect against ransomware to restrict. C. Set Protect Against Ransomware to Restrict and Set Block Unhandled Applications to On. D. Set Control Unhandled Applications to Detect. Answer. B. 5. An EPM administrator would like to enable a threat protection policy. However, the policy protects an application that is not installed on all endpoints. What should the EPM administrator do? A. Enable the threat protection policy and configure the policy targets. B. Do not enable the threat protection policy. C. Enable the threat protection policy only in detect mode. D. Split up the endpoints into separate sets and enable threat protection for only one of the sets. Answer. A. 6. After a clean installation of the EPM agent, the local administrator password is not being changed on macOS and the old password can still be used to log in. What is a possible cause? A. Secure token on macOS endpoint is not enabled. B. EPM agent is not able to connect to the EPM server. C. After installation, full disk access for the macOS agent to support EPM policies was not approved. D. Endpoint password policy is too restrictive. Answer. A. 7. A company is looking to manage their Windows servers and desktops with CyberArk EPM. Management would like to define different default policies between the Windows servers and Windows desktops. What should the EPM administrator do? A. In the default policies. Exclude either the Windows servers or the Windows desktops. B. Create advanced policies to apply different policies between Windows servers and Windows desktops. C. CyberArk does not recommend installing EPM agents on Windows servers. 
decreate a separate set for Windows servers and Windows desktops? Answer. D. 8. Before enabling ransomware protection, what should the EPM administrator do first? A. Enable the privilege management inbox in elevate mode. B. Enable the control applications downloaded from the internet feature in restrict mode. C. Review the authorized applications, ransomware protection, group and update if necessary. D. Enable threat protection and threat intelligence modules. Answer. C. 9. What unauthorized change can CyberArk EPM ransomware protection prevent? A. Windows registry keys B. Website data C. Local administrator passwords D. Certificates in the certificate store Answer. A. 10. An EPM administrator would like to notify end users whenever the Elevate policy is granting users elevation for their applications. Where should the EPM administrator go to enable the end user dialog? A. End user UI in the left panel of the console. B. Advanced. Agent configurations. C. Default policies. D. End user UI within the policy. Answer. A.